This mountain is shrouded by myth and legend. The steepest section of the stairs is 45 degrees. If you do lose traction, gravity is going to take over and I'm going to slip off the mountain. I'm Hopin Tang. I'm a professional racing driver for Jaguar Racing in the FAA Formula E Championship and Le Mans winner, Le Mans 24 hour winner. And I'm here to do the Dragon Challenge to drive up the 99 turns and the 999 steps all the way to Heaven's Gate. <laughs> what the hell? That's mind blowing. When I came here, I spoke with my parents and I said, I'm embarking on something which is the most challenging thing I will ever experience in my life. Other cars have completed the 99 turns, but no one has ever driven up the 999 steps. When you're in the car, when you're in that angle, you literally see nothing, just sky. I think reaching the top is going to feel like winning a race. I think the Range Rover Sport will be able to do it. It's just me being able to make that step to actually physically do it as well. Having the Range Rover Sport plug-in hybrid here is a blessing. I don't think any other cars would even attempt this challenge. It's a crazy challenge. It's the hardest challenge I've been involved in. This is another level. This is really pushing the boundaries of the vehicle and the plug-in hybrid system itself. One thing that's very special about the Range Rover Sport plug-in hybrid is the powertrain. It's a blend of torque from an electric motor and torque from a traditional 2-litre petrol Ingenium engine. Because of the electric power, it gives the instant torque and especially accelerating out of these very tight hairpin turns, it's just going to give you that extra boost needed to immediately get back up to speed again. Plug-in hybrid is identified by a P400E badge on the tailgate and P400E stands for plug-in hybrid 400 horsepower electric drivetrain. 400 PS is certainly a lot of power but we'll need it on this challenge here in China. The car is 100% what we would sell to a customer. It's a standard production vehicle with no modifications at all. Coming up the 99 bend, you've seen it's dynamic mode, it's in sport, we're using the paddles on the steering wheel to change gear. When we then come to the steps area, we'll alter the train response settings, we'll go into mud and ruts. We're using the optional off-road tyres. And that just gives us a little bit more sort of sidewall protection on these sharp steps. We do these challenges to push the vehicle to its absolute limits and this one really did. The breadth of capability of the Range Rover Sport plug-in hybrid is phenomenal. Well, I mean French for life I would say. I think the first time you arrive here, it's just totally mind-blowing. Oh, 
Oh, that's steep. <laughs> I'm here to do the Dragon Challenge, to drive the Range Rover Sport plug-in hybrid to 99 turns and then drive up the 999 steps all the way to Heaven's Gate. Kenman Shan is just shrouded in myth and legend. Electric motors deliver instant torque. It's just going to give you that extra boost. You ready? Wow. Kaitanty. <笑>那个也是太那个什么了 this challenge is the most extreme one we've done yet. The plug-in hybrid, having that grunt of both engine and electric will be a great benefit. But we're really pushing the limits. There really is a chance of failure. As far as I know, nothing has ever been tried like this before. This is unheard of. It's crazy. It's very steep. It's 45 degrees. Well, yeah, it's like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can't see anybody living if the car started rolling back down the hill. Uh,
Oh. Still shaking. The adrenaline is something I've never experienced before. I guess the mountain gave us one shot to make it up here. All the lucky ribbons we put on the mountain yesterday and today, you know, have helped us to, uh, to bring us up here. Having the Range Rover Sport plug-in hybrid here is a blessing. I don't think any other cars would even attempt this challenge. It's a crazy challenge. It's the hardest challenge I've been involved in. This is another level. This is really pushing the boundaries of the vehicle and the plug-in hybrid system itself. One thing that's very special about the Range Rover Sport plug-in hybrid is the powertrain. It's a blend of torque from an electric motor and torque from a traditional two-litre petrol ingenium engine. Because of the electric power, it gives the instant torque and especially accelerating out of these very tight hairpin turns, it's just going to give you that extra boost needed to immediately get back up to speed again. The plug-in hybrid is identified by a P400E badge on the tailgate, and P400E stands for plug-in hybrid, 400 horsepower, electric drivetrain. 400 PS is certainly a lot of power, but we'll need it on this challenge here in China. The car is 100% what we would sell to a customer. It's a standard production vehicle with no modifications at all. Coming up the 99 bend, it's in its dynamic mode. It's in sport, we're using the paddles on the steering wheel to change gear. When we then come to the steps area, we'll alter the train response settings, we'll go into mud and ruts. We're using the optional off-road tyres. And that just gives us a little bit more sort of sidewall protection on these sharp steps. We do these challenges to push the vehicle to its absolute limits and this one really did. The breadth of capability of the Range Rover Sport plug-in hybrid is phenomenal. Well, I mean friends for life I would say. 